Next one. Sort of like a Ron de Jean when I took ballet when I was, oh, about 14. Many, many, many years ago. So it's out to the side. Lift that leg, bring it forward. Heel to toe down. Dingo on toe. Now let's go backwards. Lift the leg, balance. Toe to heel. A proper stance on a snowboard would be uh, different than that. That is a cross chest line across. There's a normal alignment where everything is in line to the tip and tail. Pushing a board along on the toe side of the board actually is difficult because it pushes the front foot ahead. Putting it behind the board allows you to stand on the front foot while pushing the board ahead. This is a much easier method and doesn't twist you across the board which is a bad move in general, causing you to not have balance over the front foot and the board doesn't track well. So when turning right, we step on the right and bring the board around us as I'm doing right here. And you can see that would be a right turn. Body is inside the turn. And so that was indicated. There's a circle that the foot will make. So stepping to the left side of the board, I take the nose of the board around me, always taking the nose of the board around the rider since the nose of the board is the front of your vehicle like a bicycle a car or anything else you can see that there was a circle there that i pivoted around so i believe in right and left and going straight on a board more so than talking about heel and toe all right here i am back in a flex position over the board pushing the knees down which elevates the heel pulling the knees back and the butt and that is actually crossing the board as you can see the upper body moving from one side of the board to the middle to the back of the board and that changes edges. This is how we work on edging drills or using the edge and side cut of the board. Looking down while doing that, notice that the butt goes back and I'm no longer aligned over the top of the board, making it difficult to cross the board with leverage. This is also uh, what we're doing when we're riding. All this seems to be static, but every one of these moves is also indicative of how well you'll be able to function the snowboard while moving down the mountain. All right, so flexing deeper creates a larger edge angle, whether it be on the toe or the heel or left side or right side, and we move along. So we hope this is all 